All right, I think we're recording. Hey guys, what's up? Nick White here. Uh, I do tech and live coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, so if you want to check that out, uh, just you know, look right in the description. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you could follow and subscribe. This is basically, um, so this is basically the elite, uh, elite code series I'm doing. I just go through each of the problems one by one, and I kind of explain the solution. Uh, and you know, I'll be solving it here for you too. So. Uh, this one is a tree problem, and it is called Merge Two Binary Trees. And, uh, you know, I could read this, but uh, I'd rather just explain it to you. Um, we're given two trees, right? And if you look at our uh, method, Merge Trees, we have a uh, tree node one, tree node two. And, um, you know, giving us just the, th these tree nodes that we're given in the, uh, per as, a, as parameters are just... Um, you know, they're, they're the root nodes of the trees, right? So the root nodes are going to give us access to the rest of the trees because we have, you know, left and right being like uh, the left child and the right child. And, you know, we can just uh, do traversals down and, you know, get the next node and we can traverse through the whole tree, right? So uh, this is how we get access to both the trees. We have tree node one, tree node two, right? So um, given two trees, we want to, uh, given two binary trees, we want to imagine that we put one over the other and, uh, you know, like, like as if we're covering one with the other, right? Some nodes of the two tree overlap and some don't, right? So you need to merge them into a new tree. And, uh, you know, the, the merge rule in this problem is that if the two nodes overlap, then, you know, we have to sum the values, right? So if we're given this tree and this tree, we have a two and a one, then, you know, the, the final tree is going to have a three as a root, right? And, you know, we have a three and a one, that's going to be a four, a two and a three is a five. And then, and then we see otherwise, you know, the not null will you know not be used right i mean the the not null will be used and the null won't be used right so there's nothing here but the you know we see a seven so you know we'll, we'll just put the seven and we see a four here and nothing uh as a right child of three here so you know the four stays so um yeah that, that's pretty much uh the problem description here uh pretty pretty standard um tree problem i would say not too complicated here so uh, there's three cases we need to account for. So first of all, if t1 is equal to null, right, then we want to use t2, right? So we're going to return t2. Um, also, if t2 is equal to null, we're going to want to return t1. You know, pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, and then there's only one other case, right? Um, if neither of them are null, we have to add the values together. So you can pick either node to keep the value. So, you, you know, at the end the end of this function is going to return either T1 or T2. So you, you can put the value of T1 into T2 or T the value of T2 into T1. I'm just going to do T1, right? So T1.val plus equals T2.val. So we just take the value from T2, which, you know, in this in the, at the beginning, it'll be, you know, 2 and you know, 1. And uh, 2 will get added to 1 to give us 3, right? And then what you want to do is, you know, we, we can't just, all we have to do right now, it's, it's, the problem is pretty much done. We just return T1, right? Uh, that's going to give us access to the final node with the, with the new value of both of them combined. Um, but the final thing we have to do is, you, you, we're not just going to do it for one pair of nodes, right? Because uh, that's not going to do the whole tree. That's not going to merge the whole tree. So uh, just like many other tree problems, we're going to have to traverse the tree, right? And as we do that, we're going to set the t1.left equal to our, you know, uh, next left and left uh, child. So uh, we, we just have to recursively call the function. Uh, with on t1.left, uh, t2.left. This is super common in tree problems, traversing exactly like this. You're going to see it all over the place uh, with recursive calls like this. Uh, you know, sometimes you store it in a variable, but in this case, we're just, uh, you know, we're actually mu uh, do, you know, mutating the tree uh, as we go along here. So, um, you know, we're not, we're not going to need variables right here. So, you know, to, so sorry, while I talk, I'm having a tough time. Uh, keeping my train of thought here so um yeah that's that's pretty much it this should be a working solution and then maybe i'll explain uh you know kind of run through it a little bit more uh here for you hopefully i'm you know doing a good job explaining this is the one of the one of the first uh more problems i'm doing on stream here so uh
that might be why the explanation isn't so good. So, so sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, you want to you want to make sure that you're setting t one dot left and t one dot right because t one's the one that we're returning here, right? So as you can see, we pass with a eleven millisecond runtime, thirty percent of solutions, like whatever. Uh, Leak code actually has a problem with this. Like I don't know if you guys will notice, but if I submit it again, you know the 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 percentage here might be a little bit different, right? Now it's seventy four percent. So uh, leak code, you might want to fix that, but. Uh, pretty standard solution. So, you know, let, let's just look at the description one more time before we end here. Um, uh, as we traverse, as we traverse through the tree, right, we're going to call this initially on our nodes, right, we'd have one and two, right? Um, you know, not, neither of these are null right now. So we, we get, th we come through and we add two to one in this case, you know, if this was T2, then we'd add one to two, right? Do you guys get that? That, that should make sense. And then we go and make the recursive call you see t1 dot left on the on the left side and you basically just do it again you do you just keep in we set t1 dot left so we set one dot left equal to the call with um you know the new the new notes you know with one and three and you just traverse all the way down the left side traverse all the way down the right side you're setting the nodes at each level uh, the left and right at each level and uh, then you return the final node which is just basically a new tree that is a combination of both of them so I mean not not too much to explain here if we look at the solution it's the same thing I mean obviously I looked at the solution before I made this video uh, there's two solutions this is the recursive one there's an iterative one too if you want to check that out time complexity of m space complexity of m because uh, you know recursion is you know uses uh, stack space so Pretty much, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I can get better at explaining these as I go, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I advise, one, one thing I will say about every video I do, uh, you know, these for the tree problem specifically, I noticed on leak code, there's only about 40 questions. Uh, I would just say go through and do them all. There's no hard ones. It says only easy and medium. Uh, I mean, there's probably some hard ones with advanced tree structures or something like that. I don't know, like red, black trees or whatever. Uh, or like forest, you know, all that crap. Um, but you know, just for just for the trees, I think it's probably pretty easy to understand. If you went through and do like just the forty, you'll probably have a good understanding of trees and uh, tree algorithms. So, uh, highly suggest that. And thank you guys for watching. You know, once again, subscribe, follow me on Twitch if you want to see these videos live, and uh, really appreciate it. Thank you. See ya.